Oh, I, I thought I'd take you into my Roma tomato patch for a little bit. Uh, you can see that these things are loaded. They're loaded, uh, which makes me extremely happy. But I've got to do something because the uh, Florida weave is just not holding them up. We got out here and, and added a few more stakes yesterday trying to, to get them up. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to prune back some of the foliage because the fruit's getting very large and heavy and it needs to start ripening. Um, I'm an MI Gardener fan. I love Luke up there in Michigan and the things he's doing. So that was some of his recommendations that he had put out was trimming back your foliage. Also, I will probably harvest some of the fruit that is in that light green stage that I can get off of there and, and just ripen in the window seal to alleviate some of the weight off of them. So let's dig in and uh, prune these up a little bit. So yeah, you can see a couple of these are actually, oh, how sad, something got that one, so we're gonna get rid of him. But that's starting to, oh, got that one too. Dang, go on. That's why they're turning that collar. So I definitely need to do something here. Look who's creeping in. What are you doing, Fonzie? <laughs> that is my gardening buddy for sure. careful when you're pulling these off not to get anything that has any flowers on it but um, you can go up quite a little piece there before you hit that area and this is going to allow some of that airflow to get in especially as we're kind of getting into this later part of summer when you tend to get a lot more dampness Stuff and everything's so full and try to fight off that blight and will do on your plants okay so what I've been doing is just kind of taking off all of this bottom foliage down through there so like right here you can see on this one uh, there's fruit I get my hand out of the way fruit coming off of here and then that one right there fruit comes off of that but like this guy down here, he's kind of lower. It's hanging down towards the ground. There's no immediate fruit on him, so I'm just gonna go in. I'm gonna try to cut the sucker too, if you see that little sucker growing right out there too. And I'll just clip that off and get it out of the way. And so more of like, just all these lower ones really that don't have going on so I don't want to trim that one because I can see choo -choo -choo pea fruit coming off of it so I'll probably trim this one right here though off of that other line and let some air in but it's really helped them all look through here you can see the ones that I've done I mean they're just loaded with fruits and now the sun can get in there to ripen those up. And uh, soon it will be sauce time. And I am pretty happy with how the uh, Roma tomatoes have turned out. So what you need to do is get you one of these uh, gardener girl manicures here. And you feel wonderful when you have one of those, I think. Something about the dirt makes you feel good. <laughs> All right. Tomatoes 